Hi and welcome to Visual Basic.net Restaurant Management System Develop Using Object Oriented Technique. So let me just demonstrate how it works. That's the reset and let's add new data or new purchase into any of the item we have. But supposing we make a mistake there, look at what's going to happen. You see default back to zero. Another mistake made here, and that is how the system works. Okay, so we will now click on total, and that also generate the receipt for you. So what I'm going to do now is take you guys straight into Visual Basic Development Environment, and we'll put one of these together. Let's do that now. Hi and welcome to Visual Basic .net tutorial of Restaurant Management System. I'm going to be using object oriented technique so let's start by clicking on create now make sure visual basic is selected select windows forms application let's give our project a name bb underscore restaurant system and let's change the, lo the location go straight into project that's fine select and click on ok okay now that the form is ready let's define the size of the form so let's make that 1386 by 800 and in here I'm going to enter restaurant or oh, oh, restaurant system right there that is fine okay let's add the panel we have one panel here and let's change this panel as follows come right here change that the back or the border style let's change that to fixed 3d and the back let's change the back color to control that back right there, there. okay I'm gonna need a couple more of those so let's come right here let's grab some more panels one two and I need another one here right okay I have all my panels in place so let's move this down a little bit and this all the way down and let's change the border style of all of these panel to fix 3d yeah okay now we add as follows right here I, I'm going to add rich text box rich text box where is it there we go have one here and here I'm going to add checkbox. Let's move them here. I also need text box. Okay, we have a button here, so we might as well grab some buttons in place. We need three of those, and we need text box. We then need labels. One, two, three, and I need three more here. And get this three formatted. I'll come straight to auto sizes, force border, make that fix 3D, and the color will be white for those. Yeah. What I'm going to do now is add one more here. Okay, copy that, click, drag, and one picture box. Yeah, picture box here. And let's grab some, or just one logo for the picture box. Come straight onto the desktop. Have it somewhere here. Right, my trademark. 
right click OK there we go the picture box is ready I have this picture box I'm gonna move down to size so let's just speed up the, the, the design of the whole interface and I'll get back to you guys okay guys this is how the interface looks right now and the next thing is for us to create a class and let's call this class C mail so that stands for class mail so make sure class is selected and click on OK okay let's declare the following data type so I'm gonna start by saying public bottled water as double right and so on okay those are all my variables those are all my variables declared let's take care of this all right as double and equals let's say 0 0.7 there okay now the next thing I like to do is you see all of these data type here so our data member would now like to assign price to each of the menu and drinks so let's go for public bottled water so let's put a P here so and the price of bottled water let's go for maybe one yeah so repeat the same thing for sandwich and whatever we have in there and let's put a p there to denote price and just give them certain amount so let's go for three pounds plus and here let's go for maybe 290 so I'm going to speed that up that's how I'm going to add the price right the price for each meal is already taken care of that's it however underneath here I've also declared some data time for the calculation of the meal itself and in here this is where the calculation for the meal took place okay so this is the method that I use to calculate the meal Okay, you can see each of the meal there in total it should be about 17 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, up to 17 and it's then all added up here okay now let's go right down and here underneath that is where the calculation for the tax is was carried out as for the tax and here I then use the and here another method was created for the tax in here this is the method that would then calculate the cost the total cost and find out and work out the tax that is it right there now underneath below is the method for exit so all I just need to do be to call the name of the class and exit okay that is everything now so have a good look at the class take it let's take it from the top now let's look at the data the data members and that is just for my tabs and this is the price or the cost of meal and drinks um, this is for this is just a variable to store the calculation of everything I can always use one but it will be too long okay so I just prefer to do it this way if you feel like you can just do it anyhow you want okay now if we come down here like I said earlier on method for tabs the method for tabs continue to work out the cost of uh, the tax of uh, the item that you bought and in here 
those are the lines of code for the exit the method for exit now let's go into the program design interface itself so right in here double click on exit so what I'll do is to call this class and then call the method itself the class name is says C mail and that's the method I'm gonna call this very one so if you come right back in here double click on that and let's call that very class C mail dot exit system that's it taken care of okay the next one or we can just run that and you see what's going to happen so let's run the exit and see there we go confirm if you want to exit no confirm if you want to exit yes okay now let's have a good look at the total itself double click on the total the first thing I like to do is to create an instance of that very class so I'm going to call it uh, meal cost class meal c c meal ok the c meal first thing let's copy that paste dot first item on the menu here is Let's go up. That's okay. That's a T. So let's come in here. Let's say dot T equals many cost dot price of T multiply by let's say double dot pass. Now what are we passing? That's txt dot text dot text. Yeah, that's all I'm passing. And the next one, let's see. The next one is Coke Coffee. All right, so back in here. Yes, I'm gonna just copy this. Paste, paste, paste. So in here I have dot dot coke or dot cola, and this is going to be cola. And here that's dot coffee. And that's coffee as well. And here is coffee. And here we have dot orange. And the price of orange as well. Paste that in there, and this is orange. Okay. So if you guys have a look at that okay let's add this one more and now uh, we just we just then i will run it and then we'll take it from there let's copy this and that is meant to be dot bottled water copy that bottled water and bottled water so before we run it let's come down in here and say lbl subtotal dot tax equals meal cost dot get that we get amount right and the get amount I refer to is right in here. This is what I'm referring to. I'm now calling the calculation that took place here. All right. The next one is let's get the tax out of the way. Tax. Tax equals 
and that will be mail cost dot get tax no get tax right now that those two are taken care of the other thing is we now need to add up total so we can say oh let's do something you see this I'm going to change this to let's declare some variables there and this will become as double as double so we're going to repeat the same thing for this double items right then we need one for total total dim i total as double and i total equals subtotal this is one plus this okay and underneath here we can now okay we can now say LBL tags that equals that's for tax say LBL subtotal the tax equals I subtotal and total itself total itself is going to be LBL total dot tax equals I total right for one thing let's convert all of these to currency convert I think it's format currency something like that right okay let's format this other one as well to currency then we can just try it out and then speed up the whole process right so let's run it and see as for the first five item on the menu okay so we we, yeah we have that and let's say we have three four of these click on total there we go guys you see that however I don't expect the user to be able to enter data just like that you have to check these ones okay exit reset is not working yet there all right guys so what I'm going to do now is but well, let's just call this the end of the first part of this tutorial and I'll get back to you guys.